Good morning, everybody. In this chapter, we have studied the ruling of the countryside. As we know that the revenue was mainly collected from the agriculture. Agriculture was very important because the people mostly were farmers and peasants. So that how important it was the uh, need to improve agriculture. So if the economy was improving, so could the company be certain for its revenue income? How? company can collect the revenue if there is no agriculture no uh, economy so that most company officials began to feel that the investment in land had to be encouraged and agriculture had to be improved so that the all the company officials felt that agriculture has to be improved for that they need to more investment they need more investment to the land so that agriculture can be developed or encouraged or improved so they can also collect land revenue so Cornwallis was the governor general of India when the permanent settlement was introduced during this period new policies they uh, began so Cornwallis was a governor who introduced the permanent settlement so here how the finally uh, the Britishers decided the company introduced the permanent settlement in 1793. By the terms of this settlement, the Nyajas and the Taluk Das were recognized as Zemin Das. So everybody does not own land. Nyajas, the native Nyajas, the smaller Nyajas which we used to call Salmon Das. At the same time, uh, the Taluk Das, they were considered as the Zemin Das. They were asked to collect the rent from the peasants and pay revenue to the company. So they acted as, or the Zemin Das acted as the middlemen. They had to collect revenue from the people or peasants and they had to remit it to the rent to the um, uh, Britishers or the governors. Okay, so that they had to ask or collect the tax that was very important. But here, tax amount or was fixed permanently. So the amount to be paid was fixed permanently. It was not to be increased in future. That was the condition they made. A tax would not be increased in the future and it was fixed. So it was felt that they, this would ensure a regular flow of revenue into the company's coffers and at the same time the uh, encourage the Zemindas to invest in improving the land also. What the company officials felt they will get a regularly an income, a fixed amount of income uh, to the company. At the same time, they felt that Zemindas will improve the agriculture in their area so that they can collect more and more taxes or revenue. But uh, here since the revenue demand was uh, of the state would not be increased, the Zemindas would benefit it from increased production of the land. One advantage the, uh, the Zemindas had when the <coughs> permit asked for the permanent settlement ran, land revenue was fixed. It was not in, uh, increasing so that whenever there is more production or production increased, uh, the Zemidas were benefited much because they did not want to pay more taxes or more revenue to the Britishers or the British officials. So that this was an advantage for the uh, Zemidas. So here in the uh, some of the books we can find out how the riots occurred in Bengal region. So many villages in the Bengal, some of them were very powerful. Riots did not cultivate fire powerful. Uh, the Zemidas or riots or who were the agriculturists uh, or we can say landlords. So they did not cultivate but instead they gave out their lands to others are uh, called under tenants. So without cultivating their own land they handed over to or given as a rent land, uh, collecting rent they have given to other people for cultivation. But they also collected huge rents from them. So these Zemindas collected large scale rent from people for cultivation. 
So here we know uh, this uh, was also an important factor. We know that uh, land revenue was collected by such kind of uh, uh, a huge rent was collected by such kind of uh, zemindars, but they remitted only a fixed amount to the um, uh, a fixed amount only to the British officials. So, so this was one important problem that because the land revenue was fixed, it was not increasing. So the permanent settlement had created some problems that company officials soon discovered that the zemindars were in fact not investing in the improvement of land. They felt that zemindars will invest more money for improving the land and agriculture. Instead, they only collected revenue when they did not improve the land condition. So they were uh, the revenue which they had been fixed was so high that the zemindars found it uh, difficult to pay also. So anyone who failed to pay the revenue lost their zemindari. So numerous such kind of zemindars were sold out their uh, land during the auctions. So company uh, conducted auction. During that auctions, they sold out their lands because of uh, unable to pay the revenue or land tax to the government. So the, by the first decade of the 19th uh, century, the situation uh, changed. The prices of the in the market rose and the cultivation slowly expanded. The uh, goods which were so food gates which were sold in the markets were increasing in prices so that the expansion of cultivation also started. So this meant that an increase in the income of zemindars but no gain because they had to pay the revenue to the officials, British officials. So they had their own uh, no extra benefit to these people, the zemindars or the landlords. So, there was a demand for increasing the land revenue. So that even then zemindars also did not have an interest in improving the land. Some had lost their lands in the earlier years due to this settlement. Others now saw the possibility of aiding without the trouble also. What happened here also some disadvantages, some of them though those who lost their own languages earlier, they had no way to recapture their land. And other zemindars who are already now paying the revenue, they got more acres or more areas of land, but their um, um, uh, revenue payment towards the government was fixed so that they were advantages, they had an extra income also. So on the other hand, we know that in the villages, the cultivators found the system extremely oppressive, that the rent that he paid to the zemindar was very high and his right on the land was insecure. So farmers or the peasants who were cultivated in the rural areas, they were in threat that they had no right on their own land but they had to pay the rent to the their zemindars or the landowners so to pay the rent he had to often take a loan from the money lender and when he failed to pay this rent he was evicted from the land also so the cultivation for many generations they used to cultivate the land continuously but the problem when they were able, uh, they were unable to pay the rent, they were evicted from the land. They had no right on their own land. Only they had to pay the rent, but they had no right on their own land. So this was the uh, condition during the um, British period uh, as for the permanent settlement. So that the Britishers felt that there is a need to change such an existing system. So a new system was devised by the Britishers that we will study in the next class.